Hey coach, so happy you found us on YouTube. A uh, couple things. First of all, make sure you go subscribe and like. That's really important. Second thing is make sure that you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a one-stop shop for basketball coaches. It's the Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever you want. It's got a little bit of everything, but it's also got a community of like-minded coaches who will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head off to the video. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to High School Hoops. I don't even know what episode anymore. I'm not even going to attempt. Um, I'm, done with, I'm done with winter, Coach Collins, done with winter person. Uh, before we jump in, I, would like, I, seriously, I would like to give a big shout out. I'm going somewhere warm when I retire. I'm just telling you. We can do this. Yeah, you I'll just this bought one. a lake house in Wisconsin. You ain't going anywhere. I'm going, what are you talking about? I'm going south. I'm going south from January to, um, January to. Oh, that's right. Uh, then you can go up north in the summer. In the, in the summer. Unless I move out where, where James or Bill are in like San Francisco area, which I probably can't afford or the same. <laughs> so, but I'll come visit you, James, if you're listening to this. Um, anyway. Oh, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, my you're sponsor. talking about our sponsors. Sponsors. First of all, Dr. Dish, the number one shooting <laughs> machine in the market. I, okay, so this I'm a stats teacher. I'm going to give you an observational study. The reason we went on part of our winning streak is because of Dr. Dish and the shooting machines. Like we were not you and you've watched our film. We were not getting we were not shooting the ball well early in the season. No, and, your kids and, right now are hitting some big shots and with with distance and confidence. And it, but sure. it's reps. It's just reps. So yeah, I'm not I'm insane. not using it the way I should be. To be honest with you, I'm I'm using it to get reps right now. In the summer, I use it for different types of shots, and and we've moved on from reps to cut some passes and some dribbling stuff. But early when I was using them, it was like how what <laughs> you know anything about Doctor Dish? The tempo is what you want to deal with. So I moved the tempo to one, which means it shoots and then it shoots. And then it's like fast because I want to get as many shots up as I can. And um, I, I, I'm just telling you from an observational, it's helped us win games. I mean, I got three of them in my, I, I used to, the third one's a little bit old, um, but we just, I mean, I thought, I bet we get a thousand shots up before practice every day because of Dr. Dish. So um, mention high school hoops, coach unplugged, and you'll get $350 or not $400 off. It's 2022. What am I talking about? $400 off. Also go over and check out teach hoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Lots of great things. Coaches working on some stuff for me. Um, I have a bunch of other coaches working on some stuff. I have a laundry list of stuff that I'm going to be putting up. And, uh, Steve, I would say that there's a variety of different things so like i know we're really towards high school but like a lot of my stuff too i've had a lot of hits on my on my motion offense and it's like a fifty thousand hits so i'm trying to gear towards some of that and some of this and this so you're going to get a bunch of different things so when right. we talk and that's about one of the hoops, things i'm thinking about this summer is i'm going to get i want a whole youth section because i got so many youth coaches that, that reach out to me and i want to be able to be specific with them and youth um not that you can't do stuff that we're doing um, but there's other stuff that you need. So jump in now before prices increase because I got to pay people and I got to buy coach more stuff for his classroom. So that's all I want, buddy. That's all I want. <laughs> I need to take my wife out to dinner so I get to keep coaching. So you want to live she, in the South she, in the summer. The I mean, problem is she saw the she saw the non-Steve coaching and how even though it's the middle of COVID, how relaxed Steve was and how available <laughs> Steve was, it was like crap. It's like she only knew she only knew me as a head coach and very busy. And now she saw she like she cracked that door open and saw like the non-coach Steve. It's like shoot. That was shoot, not the bad word. So I don't have to put explicit on this in the podcast. Anyway. Um, all right. So what's today's topic, coach? So uh, like I said, we built off um, what we did last week, which is approach us to playoff in real time. Um, we kind of use what you're dealing with and I'm not dealing with what, what you have this season. And then we're looking at how we can mentor high school coaches um, in regards to practice playoffs, the structure of it, 
um, some things that you definitely should cover, um, things that you probably probably don't want to cover, you know, things that you might want to eliminate from your practice plan at this point in the season that it, it, it might not be as important because you're looking to win one game at a time. And obviously it's really about winning that next game. Um, so what does, this, what does that practice right, look so like? There's a couple things. First of all, it's all about matchups. Right. Period. High school basketball is about matchups. Coach can vouch for this. There's teams we've beaten. There's teams we can't seem to beat. And it's about their specific players versus my specific players. So practice planning, a couple things with practice planning that we do. We do a lot of situation work this time of year, a lot of situation work. We try to shorten the on-court time, not practice time per se, because like I was telling coach, the other day we had like an hour and 20 minute film session, which is fine. They can sit and I mean, shoot, they're on their TikToks for 17 hours a day. They can sit and watch an hour of themselves playing basketball. So um, the key to a good film session is teaching and engagement. Like I'm always asking them, what do you see? What did you do? How do you feel about that? And I'm having them write things like when we go in, uh, we'll probably, I don't know. We, I think, we're late on Tuesday. So, um, so we'll do a film session next Tuesday. We'll do a film session. Um, we have late practice. And the first thing I'll do in the film session is write three things we did well, three things we didn't do well in the last game. And then we'll talk about it and they're all raising their hand. It's great. And then we'll go, all right, tell me something about our next opponent. Cause we've already played them once. What do you know about them? Write that in their notebooks. And then, so we're always engaging them in that. I think, again, you, we talked about tournament time is a mental approach, right? It is. It is. And so it the is. more the more I, you talked about situational, which, I mean, it, it is about executing, but it is a mental thing. Good situations are a mental approach. If you're not prepared mentally for that situation, you're not going to be. And then, you know, the film and then discussions, it's really the, the, about that mental approach. Yep. And I think you got to think about in terms of buckets of stuff. So right. what I what we will do is once you know your opponents, quote unquote, like down the trail, like if you're the NCAA and you get your 64 teams, you kind of know who you're going to go. Look at your buckets and eliminate stuff in those buckets that you do not think you're going to need. Um, you know, if you're the first two teams you're going to play are going to be, you're going to play man, get rid, don't work, don't work. You still got your zones in and the kids know them. You've been running them for three months. You can always pull them out of your back pocket if you need to, but don't spend time on them is what I'm saying. Time is the precious commodity. Spend time on things that you think you can score on and things that will be effective for those opponents. Um, Cause that's an easy sell to the boys too. It's like, man, we've been working on this. We know it like, you know, if you need a box in one or you need something specific um, I just think it's an easy it's an easy sell and it's an easy way of doing it. I would go and try to shorten practices. I would also try to make some fun stuff because you, you might have a long stretch here. Um, depending on your team, you know, we, we over winter break, we do a lot of fun stuff, but come tournament time they're they know it's a big game and they know it's going to be nerve wracking. Uh, so anything you can do to alleviate that and, tell them that they're ready for their tests and tell them they're ready for their quiz and let that, that they're ready for the next opponent will help um, alleviate some of that. It's a self-confidence thing. It's a coach has gotten us ready. We've gotten ready. We got this, you know, I'm walking into my econ final in college and I know I'm going to ace it because I've spent the last week and a half getting ready for it kind of thing. Um, so I think those are important as far as. So I'll that. write down a couple of things that I wrote down just, just from um, shooting and free throw reps at a all time high. Um, definitely got to be in your practice plan. Um, if you're going to look at skill development base, I wouldn't work on ball handling and stuff like that. Um, I would focus on the two things and you're, you're more of a in tune with rebounding within what you do. Um, but with rebounding and then uh, taking care of the basketball turnovers, if you want to just spend any like five, 10 minute tidbits on skill development, those are the two areas I would focus on because those are two things that really um, alter possessions within the course of a game. And so, you know, you want to maximize your possessions in the playoffs. And, and then, you know, those are kind of the other things you might want to put in. Um, if, you're, if you're talking about, you know, skill development or repetition, 
and then making sure you get lots of shots up. Lots of shots up, lots of shots, lots of things that are making them think. Um, yes. And I think all of that is important moving, you know, and you got to be, I was telling another coach at teachups.com member that you basically got to be a marketing guru. You got to market this thing. Like I've been talking to our guys about we're going to win. We're as good as any of the, I mean, you got to market, like you got to sell, like you got to convince them. Maybe if, even if they're not that they are, um, it's. And it's, right now it's you're, you're, you're zero and zero. Right. And then the next game you're one and zero, you know, and the next game you're two and zero. Like, I mean, it's a brand new season. It's how you sell it. You know, you could be, it, I agree. It's a really about building that, you know, that, that product, you know, it's smoke it, and mirrors, baby. It's smoke right? and mirrors. Um, and that's what you have to be. You have to be able to do that um, and use a little magic, to be honest with you, um, and sell them. So here's gonna- my question. Maybe we just will be the next topic. Um, you know, how do you prepare in advance for that next opponent? Is that something that we could talk about next time? Oh, I think like, that's a good. I think. Okay, so like topic. you've went on your state tournament runs, right? So we know in reality, right, we're going to either face once this thing is out. What do, what do we do next? Like you obviously have to do some delegation because you can't do it all. You know, is one of your coaches? Gonna, I'll just stop talking. But I think that's a good topic. I think that's a good topic. Let's do that okay, next so, week. Let's do that next week. All right. All right. Next week, so our next week good. topic is how to prepare or pre uh, pre plan for your next opponent. Uh, in the how to get ready for the entire trail. I think that's yep. a good topic. Okay. All right. Bye. Hey, coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like, and go over and check out teachups.com for coaches who want to get better.